Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve a proportion by looking for a relationship between ratios. Now, not all proportions will have a straightforward relationship where we can use this method, but it is a method we can use when we do notice a relationship. There are different ways to solve proportions, so this is a method to keep in mind. Let's jump into number one, where we have 10 to 2 equals 32x. So x is our unknown. We need to find what x equals. So let's look for a relationship that uses multiplication or division horizontally, so side to side, between the ratios. We can use this relationship to figure out the unknown, x. Now remember, whatever we do to the top term, we must do to the bottom term, or vice versa, whatever we do to the bottom term, we must do to the top term in order to keep this equivalent and in proportion. This is just like working with equivalent fractions. These just happen to be ratios in fractional form, and they form a proportion. So let's take a look at the 10 and the 30. Is there a relationship there that either uses multiplication or division? Well, yes, we know 10 times 3, 10 times 3 equals 30. So whatever we do to those top terms, we can do to the bottom terms in order to figure out what x equals. So 2 times 3 equals 6. x equals 6. Now we can also go the other way and use division. So you can go either way when looking for that relationship. So let me rewrite the ratios down below. So 10 to 2 equals 32x. So you may have noticed that 30 divided by 3 equals 10. So we can think what divided by 3 equals 2. Well, 6. So x equals 6 that way as well. So keep in mind that you can go from left to right or right to left looking for that relationship that uses either multiplication or division. Let's move on to number 2 where we have x to 49 equals 4 to 7. So we need to see if we have a relationship between our ratios looking horizontally, so side to side. Let's take a look at the 49 and 7. So do we have a relationship here? Well, yes. We know that 49 divided by 7 equals 7. Let's use that information to figure out what x equals. So what divided by 7 equals 4? Well, 28 divided by 7 equals 4. So x equals 28. Now we can also go the other way and use multiplication. Let's take a look at what that will look like. So x to 49 equals 4 to 7. Well, we know 7 times 7 equals 49. So let's use that information to figure out x. Well, 4 times 7 equals 28. So we get 28 that way as well. So there you have it. There's how you solve proportions using relationships. Now again, not all proportions will have a straightforward relationship like these examples did, but it is a method to keep in mind if you do notice a relationship and you can use that relationship to solve for your unknown. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.